Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I am reading a vision. This was an open vision by one of our YouTube viewers. She, her code name that she goes by is Jerry Brand. And I'm going to read right now. Yeah. I had a vision a week ago about an earthquake in New York City. First I saw the Brooklyn Bridge starting to break. The wheels of the cars on the bridge sank into the concrete and then the bridge started cracking and most of the bridge collapsed with all the cars on it. Immediately after that, a monster tsunami hit New York City, completely wiping out everything in its path. In its path. Buildings were literally cut in half like a hot knife cutting through butter. And the top halves were washed away with the waves, while the bottom sections were completely covered with water. The tsunamis were higher than all the buildings, and the water rushed through the streets as high as the highest buildings. I noticed that it happened so fast that not a single person had time to start running in an attempt to escape. Talk about total obliteration. Pat's two cents. Man. What a heck of a vision is that to have? Ooh, it's one thing to be a dream, but it's way scarier when it's a vision. Man. See, before God pours out his wrath, before God allows nature to cut loose on this planet, God oftentimes gives warning. <laughs> and the reason for these videos is to warn, <coughs> excuse me, to solicit prayer, to encourage as many as possible to pray and seek God's face on this and to repent. You see, when God speaks judgment over a nation or a region or even a city, oftentimes he's doing it in hopes that they will stop, pay attention, and repent as quickly as possible, calling out to God for his mercy. In the case of Jonah, he warned. The people took heed. They repented. They fasted and dust and ash. I mean, they got down. They bore down in prayer big time. And God stayed his judgment. And it never had to take place. The problem with this country, as we have been on top for so long, we think our stuff don't stink. Now that's colloquial, but we think our stuff don't stink. And God is sick and tired of the stench, the cries of the blood that has been wasted in this country for money, the cries of victims of rape, child abuse, beaten and battered spouses, the cries of drug addicts who probably would never have turned that way if it hadn't been fed into their neighborhoods so readily in such torrential levels. We have to remember that a lot of this crap that's going wrong in our country is the fault of the powers that be 
and every one of us that participated in any measure. So for those of us who have given our hearts to the Lord, who are trying to really get it right, there's a lot more mercy waiting for you and warnings. But for those who talk to the hand, have that kind of attitude to God? Yeah. All I can say is see you wouldn't want to be you because it's not going to be a pretty scene. We need to pray and we need to cry out to our family members, our loved ones, our friends. We need to get this word out. So for those of you who believe in warning dreams and warning visions, I do. That's why I'm doing this video. Many of you can share the video on Facebook, Instagram, wherever. But get the word out, you guys. Listen, I'm going to say this real quick. This has nothing to do with disaster. But this is why I believe in dreams and visions. Especially visions. Ooh. And I dream all the time, so I'm always getting crazy dreams. But let me tell you this. My sister years ago had a dream about me. I was engaged to the finest brother. He was tall, he was dark, and he was fine. Did I say, yeah. Well, listen, <laughs> I was going to marry him. We were engaged planning our wedding day. My sister said she was driving down the main thoroughfare, and it was as if God dropped a screen right between her and the road. And she said it was just a matter of seconds because she didn't get out of line with her lane. But she said she saw me at the altar wearing, not white, but like an off-white. And the one I was marrying, the groom, was wearing white as well. Now the reason that really stuck in her mind was not only because she had a vision while she was driving, but because she knew that my dress was going to be deep turquoise. So... That was God's way of saying, baby cakes, this is not the one. And after she told me about the dream, he started rev revving his ugly head. And I started realizing, oh no, this show ain't the one. No, I'm not going there because I refuse to be with a man that threatens to hurt me. Over nonsense? No, 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 no. I don't care what the case is. You're not putting your hand on me without spending many years in jail. So... I cut that loose like a disease, and I got over it real quick, too. Okay, so trust me. Oh, and let me tell you this. Yes, I, I wasn't even saved then. When I got saved, three years later, I married. We got married, both me and my ex-husband, got married in ivory just like my sister saw it. And I didn't think about that till way after the wedding. Hmm. Visions are important. You need to take heed. You need to listen. You need to pay attention. You need to do as much as you can about these visions. God bless you as you think on that. And hopefully you'll be praying on it. Thank you so much. Jerry Brand, God bless you.